Well, the rain has arrived across the upstate and the mountains, but yesterday now, yes, it's past midnight. Yesterday, Easter Sunday was a beautiful one across the upstate. We had several hours of sunshine. We topped out at 80 in Greenville, 79 in Spartanburg, Clemson. You topped out at 76, so temperature certainly overachieved yesterday in Asheville at 74. But now the rain has moved in. Looks like it might have let up a little bit now. Uh, last check here on the Harley Davidson camera, but it's going to be picking up tonight. It's going to be heavy and it's going to be a mess for the morning rush. Now temperatures are beginning to cool off. Our flow is starting to come in out of the northeast and we're going to develop what's called a wedge as it's going to get colder and colder with time. Already cooling through the 60s for the upstate 50s in the mountains. Brevard at 56, Asheville 57, 64 in Lawrence and Greenville at 66. But as I've been talking about tomorrow, Monday is or today I should say is a first alert weather day. Periods of rain expect a messy morning commute, ponding on the roads, flooding and poor drainage areas, leave extra time to get to your destination and the rain will be heavy at times causing that ponding on the roads and there will be a low threat for severe weather. So that's a silver lining, so to speak. But look at first alert radar really lighting up with the showers. Some of those becoming heavy right now, seeing the showers around Greenville kind of heavy into Pickens County, northern Greenville into Spartanburg and back into Lawrence as well. Had some lightning with this activity a little bit earlier as as this is moving into Greenwood, eventually into Newberry County with some heavier rain in eastern Georgia. Also seeing some of the heavier showers around Elberton, easily Clemson also seeing that as well. Even Fountain Inn back into areas around Ennery and Pauline and Spartanburg and Mayo and Chesney all seeing that heavy rain and we're seeing those showers making their way into the mountains as well. As we're on the cool side of a boundary right now, a northeast flow will drive in that cool air, but there's developing low pressure. That's what's heading our way that will really stoke up that rain overnight and ahead of a cold front. Look at the severe weather tornado warnings across the panhandle of Florida. I think that severe threat will be staying to our south as we go through the overnight. So you see the rain expanding through the overnight. Heavy at times, some rumbles of thunder as well. And as we go into the morning hours, the heart of the rush hour, it is going to be a mess across the area with steady rain. Some of that will be heavy at times, but by mid morning to late morning, the heavy rain moves out. So looking at the cloudy skies, I think we could see some breaks in the overcast. Cast. As we go into the afternoon, as the flow comes in out of the northwest, and maybe still some lingering showers across the mountains. Low chance of severe weather, low country back into southern Georgia, but we can't rule out some rumbles of thunder. And future track rain is impressive, inch and a half, maybe to two inches plus across the area. That's why you've heard the saying, turn around, don't drown. That certainly could be a possibility. But then it gets cooler after that. We could be looking at a frost Tuesday and Wednesday morning, especially across the mountains. Some clouds build in on Wednesday. I think any kind of front or moisture that heads our way will dry out. We'll be warming up as we go through the rest of the week. Upstate for tonight, 48 rain likely, and that rain's going to be heavy at times with a raw northeast wind. For the mountains, 43 for you, and once again, the rain will be heavy at times. And I do apologize after midnight, my days advance by one, but it's tomorrow. Today, Monday, I know it's confusing. First alert weather day, 59. Then by Tuesday, 68. It could be pretty frosty by Wednesday morning, 39. But look at the warm up end of the week, 70s and 80s. And for the mountains, a raw, rainy day for you. And that should be Tuesday and Wednesday morning that you have those mid 30s and a good chance of a frost there. But then warming up through the 70s to around 80 degrees. And make sure you tune in.